Oh, Over Lord. You. I'm out. <laughs> Over to you, Nick. I don't know anything about this, mate. All right. So, all right. I, so, I did a video on this. Uh, so, if you guys don't know, Tales of the Empire, the new uh, phony baloney uh, animated series, uh, just dropped on Disney Plus this last week. Uh, it's getting mixed reviews. But the thing that is getting the most attention is one episode they start introducing they them pronouns to a character in the show so this is the first time this put another gay diverse woman in it make it my fucking lame <laughs> this is the first time that they actually went the full they them pronoun thing in any star wars show anything ever uh, and, and there's people out there that are trying to to push back and like, oh well they're talking about a group because the group was in the in the mountains and stuff. No, 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 no. I watched the whole thing in context. It was one person there, and they used the they them pronouns talking about that one individual person five times. It wasn't just a one time. Hey, they they almost died, or or hey, they they were about to surrender. You no, no, no. It, five times, one person. So there was no group. There was nobody else there. Nobody else around. Nobody else involved. Uh, this was one thousand uh, percent. Uh, uh, they them pronoun push uh, by Lucasfilm in this show. Uh, they thought it, they could just slip it in there and nobody would talk about it. Uh, but, uh, no, I mean, people caught it, but when I talked to coach, he actually did not pick up on it, but he was probably playing on his phone, uh, when it was probably happening and probably not paying much attention. Cause it does that a lot. <laughs> We've got uh, an exit here. It says they are still alive. Yeah. We need to get them to the ship. We can yep. save them. Forget it. Let them die. It's not worth the trouble. They were about to surrender. Yeah, talking about one individual. There was no group of people. It in the in this character is just some Jedi that is that escaped uh, Order sixty six, and and you can kind of see uh, image of this person. It's a mix between a, a guy and a girl. The characters look like a um, you, you can't really. You, I mean, you're like, is it a woman? Is it a man? I mean, with the jawline and the and the some of the face structure, but then it, so you, you just don't know, uh, and they don't ever really tell you either. Uh, so yeah, this is one hundred percent modern day uh, gender pronoun crap now thrown into Star Wars, and 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 they're gonna keep doing it. They're gonna keep doubling down. They're gonna keep adding. We're gonna start seeing more and more of this, not just in Star Wars, but in probably in everything. You know, everybody's got to respect the pronouns. You have your pronouns. I'm not respecting shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's insane. Very, very succinctly put there at the end. Um, yeah, I agree. Look, if I agree you want to be, it. if you're born a woman and you want me to call you he because you feel more like you're a he <laughs> and you give me respect, I'll respect that. If you're born a she, vice versa, you know, whatever, fine. If you come around and say, I want to be called a Zay, I'm going to call you a fucking lunatic queerdo. That's what you're going to get. I'll be like, that's not how English works. <laughs> that is, yeah, it is perversion of language, yeah. isn't it? At the end of the it, day. And this is a think, good show. This is a yeah, kid that, that, show on that Disney the was, Plus. That's the thing I was going to bang on about is the fact that it's children. You know, this is a, a children's cartoon show. Uh, yeah. Not good. <clears throat> Really not good. Um, but yeah, they are absolutely coming for your kids. So brutal stuff. Mm. Brutal stuff. Bo? Well, I would say the whole pronouns thing, because if, if anyone can remember before a few years ago, it just simply wasn't an issue in society, mm. in any public discourse. It was not a thing at all. Um, complete, completely foisted upon us as a deliberate attempt, once again, to undermine... Our, our 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 culture, our entire Western civilization. <clears throat> I doubt it's being pushed very hard <clears throat> by me in China mm. or in 
Lesotho, right? Uh, it's it's for us now. The number of actual uh, gender fluid or intersex people, hermaphrodites, is absolutely tiny, absolutely tiny, uh, uh, tiny, tiny number of people. So the whole thing about them, they, it's just a nonsense, and I really do think should be treated with open contempt. Um, no, if you've bought into it, if you're sort of a, 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 a lefty neo-Marxist globalist type and you've bought into it and you think it's a real thing, the joke's on you. And no, I'm going to treat you with contempt. Now, I'm not going to call you they. No, I'm going to make my judgment of whether I think you're male or female and refer to you accordingly. Now, you don't get to tell me what to say at all. And that's the bottom line. And it's as simple as that. Now, anyone yeah. that makes art about it and put it in there, especially if it's aimed at kids, are, are, are perverse and evil and should be called it should be called out on it and that's it no the whole thing mm -hmm. is is uh is is disgusting and wrong and uh no you don't get to tell other people what they can or can't say uh, i mean up to a limit there are of course libel laws and things <laughs> but no, i'm not going to call mm. you they and i'm not going to take you seriously if you want to be called they no i'm not going to take your art seriously if that's what you put in it um it's contemptible. Uh, it just really is. Dave Filoni's know. wife is a witch too. Uh, who, who? That's not slander or libel. That's an actual fact. Yeah, yeah. Th th this is not uh, hearsay. No, don't even. No, Nate, chill out. She is not. She is actually a practicing witch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is all public knowledge from public her. Oh, sorry, sorry. You know, she's got to go get Dorothy, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a, a wicked witch of the West. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> California being the West, yes. Yeah, but, but yeah, she's oh, into uh, all this weird crap, you know, and, and, and her husband speaks at the women's conferences, and now we're getting, you know, respect to pronouns and getting all this in here. It's just, it, it is evil. I 100% agree with what Bo was saying. Yeah. What do you reckon about this culture, mate? Star Wars is dead. There we go. I was waiting for it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just, that's my, my killed it. Yeah. Well, yeah. But that's my standard answer whenever it comes to talking about Star Wars now. I, right. it, it doesn't care anymore. It's, it's fallen so far out of this cultural zeitgeist that yeah. it doesn't draw anybody in. You can't, you can't get people interested in Star Wars now because it's so garbaged up. You can't, you can't encourage people to watch it. The hardcore mm. fans are walking, have walked away a long time ago, but the so-called new fans are like, you know, they had a point. This sucks. Yeah. Can I, can I make another point real quick? Sure. Um, yeah, yeah. There's, uh, it's now become, yeah, Star Wars is dead. Yeah, it's now a vehicle for uh, perverting the minds of the youth, right? People mm. used to be executed. Socrates himself was, was executed for... Uh, uh, perverting the minds of young people it's one of the most degenerate things adults can do one of the worst things they can do in history you look at the rise and fall of all sorts of cultures and civilizations and very oh, yes. very My often <clears throat> really <laughs> uh, very very often when a culture or society becomes obsessed with homosexuality or hermaphrodites or androgyny in general the culture is on the down downturn. It means that it's become it is becoming weak and introverted, inward looking, and uh, will implode. Uh, the, the example of the Byzantine Empire, for example, became extremely effeminate, or the rise and fall of, of Mongol cultures, going from extremely hardy and ultra ultra masculine and, and militaristic to uh, soft and weak and imploding. And being interested mm. in being interested in perversity, being fascinated by dwarves or something, being fascinated by all sorts of physical um, uh, abnormalities, and um, and hermaphrodites and and homosexuality and all that sort of thing. Um, it, it's ha the cycles have happened again and again and again in history, um, and this is just the symptom of it in our age. Told you, we're on the brink of civilizational collapse. I keep saying it. There you go. There we go. Well, I just, so, yeah. I just want to add to my thoughts real quickly to say that 
Star Wars is so dead that Good. Squadrons, the game, is 95% off because they can't sell it. They oh, put it wow. They put it 95% off for May the 4th be bullshit. Sorry. It's just that's not Star Wars Day. It's the 25th. Everybody talk, knows it. You talk about a DEI filled game, man. Oh. That was it. I was pumped mm. when that before that game came out. Me and Coach were gonna do tons of videos, gameplay, everything. I had to force myself just to get through the story. It was so bad. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. It isn't. It's it. It's not worth pick, picking up at any price. But ninety five percent off tells you it was a failure. I wouldn't even buy it for free. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's crazy. Well, guys, we'll, we'll we'll shuffle on from this now.